All right, folks, it is another live worldwide transmission. Get ready. I am your host, Alex Jones. We have a top professor uh, joining us, Roman Yampolonsky, who was on with us about two years ago, warning of a cybernetic uh, takeover of society. And he's going to be joining us for about 45 minutes in the second hour. You've got coming out where all the major pharmacological pills will have tracker chips in them that report back to Skynet on you. All of the appliances with wireless internet are watching you. That's what the CIA director said. I remember in the Batman before last, the one with the Joker, they used the sonar, they used the wireless internet uh, on the cell phones to create a system that scans and maps the entire city, but that also listens to everybody. That's real technology. For decades, they've been using wireless internet and wireless telecommunications to scan. They've got receiver chips. We've had engineers on about this, where it doesn't just go out and transmit data and then receive data in, in the transmitter and receiver. They can have another system that when it transmits out, it bounces back just like you use radar to make out the shape of an aircraft and it can look right through your walls. That's what I keep trying to explain to people here. And this is all being announced, by the way. This is in Wired Magazine, Washington Times, Associated Press, and you're saying, what does this have to do with robot takeover? Everything is being jacked with surveillance systems by design. <clears throat> this is being set up. So we're going to be breaking all of that down today. We also have a very interesting guest, the makers, James Lane and Richard Grove, in studio uh, of a new film that we are exclusively distributing uh, for the next three months. And that is, of course, a State of Mind. That is the best film out there on the history, present, and future of different systems of mind control. It's very well done. It's a great tool to bring yourself to a higher level of understanding, but also to wake up friends and family. It's available on Blu-ray, I should add, not just DVD, at InfoWarsStore.com. And while supplies last, there's maybe a thousand of them left. Uh, so we'll have to take that special off very soon. You can get a free DVD of American Dream, the animated film exposing the private Federal Reserve. It's very entertaining. Uh, and so that special will end as soon as those are gone. So take advantage of that at InfoWarsStore.com. But I didn't mean to go off into a plug. They're going to be in studio uh, with us here today. They're visiting us uh, because we're going to tape some intros and outros and things for the 17th of July when we're going to premiere for PrisonPlanet.tv viewers. It starts shipping the 15th. Uh, it starts shipping in about two weeks and three days on DVD. And then two days later, we premiere it on InfoWars Nightly News, InfoWarsNews.com, and PrisonPlanet.tv. We're going to premiere. We'll have the regular live news that night, or if it's taped, it'll be taped. Some days it's live, some days it's taped, I don't know. And then it will go into the special we're going to tape tonight. Uh, where we talk about the film and then come back and forth within the film and discuss it. So that's all, uh, again, uh, available right now to, for purchase and to support the broadcast and the huge nut we have to crack every month as well. We couldn't do any of this without your support. We are the biggest alternative media organization in the world right now, fighting on multimedia fronts, and I want to commend all the supporters and PrisonPlanet.tv members for making that possible. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the Infowars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happens. So check it out, Infowars.com forward slash show. Now, before I go any further here, I want to open the phones up to take your calls. Again, first-time callers here today give you a chance to uh, join us uh, on air. 
the toll-free number uh, to talk about any issue that you'd like to discuss. I do want to take a lot of calls in the first hour, and I never seem to get around to this. I've taken the last 15 minutes or so, but we're going to open the phones up uh, starting at the next segment. And the number to join us is 800-259-9231. I love the wild card grab bag uh, of the callers. Every time I listen to a rebroadcast, it's the calls that I find most interesting. Uh, now, we don't screen them, so sometimes we get prank calls and sometimes we get uh, people that are drunk. Uh, but that's, that's interesting as well. I, I like to not have that filter. The only time we screen the calls is if I say specifically, I want to get police officers on about their view of something, or if I want to get doctors on about Obamacare, or if I want to let nurses call in and talk about how they're euthanizing people all over the U.S., and you hear the nurses call in saying, oh, yeah, we're euthanizing a lady on the third floor right now. She's begging for food and water. She's 10 days in. And you'll hear in the background, Dr. Walker, Dr. Walker. I mean, they're there. Uh, things like that. Uh, but it's just a wide open free for all. Whatever your question, whatever your comment, you... Uh, if you disagree with me, if you agree with me, 800-259-9231, 800-259-9231. We have a lot of good news uh, out there. 97% opposed to TSA naked body scanners. TSA completes enforced public comment period on rollout of invasive technology and 97% on the public uh, notice rulemaking federal site. People have to give their you know, info and everything. 97% are against it. I mean, I talk to people and over 80% that I talk to say Snowden's a hero. And then you see polls say, you know, half of Americans think Snowden's a traitor. And you see another poll saying 79% say he's a hero. And then you learn who these polling groups are. Uh, the more accurate ones, you see disinfo pieces out there about them saying they're not accurate. And they'll use a few cases where they where their poll doesn't you know come true in an election, like Zogby. I found Zogby is is more accurate. Uh, Gallup's a little more accurate, even though it can be spun sometimes. Uh, if you have public policy polling that's run by the Democrats, basically, I mean, what a joke! What a joke! Uh, we called up to pay to have them to do a poll just to see if we could get them to do it, and they told us. They said, we do not like your politics. <laughs> We're not going to let you pay us $5,000 to do a poll. This is just amazing. So my point is, is that when you see an article out there, like on Infowars.com yesterday, uh, saying majority of Americans support drones domestically, and Paul Watson reports on the poll, I've called Paul up, who I think is great, but I'm, I'm just having a public discussion about this open air and I said, you know, Paul, I don't really believe that, I think it was 69% in one part of the poll agreed for anti-terrorism for drone and 60-something percent, oh, there he's pulled it up. Yeah, it's 67%, I'm going from memory, uh, there it is, of them support the use of unmanned spy drones for homeland security missions and 63% support their use for fighting crime. But as Rand Paul has said, it's pre-crime. They're flying around surveilling you, plus the balance of power is way out of whack when the government's this big. But the issue that I'm basically trying to get at here is that you can't believe all these polls. What you can believe is hundreds of thousands of people signing a petition to deport Piers Morgan. That shows people don't like him and his red coat usurping anti-gun activities. What you can believe is hundreds of thousands on the White House website saying, we want you to pardon uh, Edward Snowden, Obama. Uh, or hundreds of thousands on the White House website, uh, it's growing towards that, saying they want an investigation of the death of Michael Hastings, uh, the reporter that said he had the biggest story of his life, and then hours later, uh, his car blew up. That's just some of the issues. Uh, but, but there's the article on Infowars.com, 97% opposed to TSA body scanners uh, in the public comment period. So that is more reflective of what I've seen. I've, I've talked to people at airports, and the, most of them, I'd say 80, 90% are against the naked body scanners and know it's all security theater and dog training and slave training. I have a friend um, who works at a high level at the Austin Bergstrom Airport. I won't say his name, he asked me not to, and, and he told me, I don't know, five, six years ago, about how, well, I was with him, and he said, here, let's turn on the television, let's watch News 8 Austin, 
a local Time Warner 24-hour news channel, <coughs> and he said, let's let's see what they do. And by the way, News 8's better in some cases than, than other mainstream media. They actually have some good people over there. I'm not throwing them under the bus if they're listening, but this happened. And he said they, they talked to 40-plus people trying to get them to support the pat-downs and all the stuff that was going in then. And they found one old lady who said she thought it was great after 40 people. Because in his job, he had to be there watching this. And he, he was, he, so we turned it on, we're watching it. And, you know, we're there drinking beer. This was entertainment. And it comes on and he goes, watch, it's going to be her. And he had the old lady. It was the one person that was for it. And he was rolling around, you know, with sick laughter. It was very painful, actually, to see the distortion that goes on. So you've got to be in the media or around the media to learn how these things work. But that's a great example of that. So there, I've gone over, I've gone over that issue uh, as just an example. Something I've been wanting to air for days because I came back across it this weekend was the so-called Kuwaiti girl that it turned out was really the daughter of the ambassador of the Kuwaiti uh, ambassador. And she famously got up and said they threw the babies out on the floor. You know, they stomped their brains out, all this kind of stuff. And they said, for her security, we're not going to say her name. We're going to use a, 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 a alias. And you could tell the whole body language <coughs> of the committee hearing. It was totally fake. And it indeed came out that it was a fake testimony and nobody threw babies out of incubators. And there were major journalistic investigations, and I've got those articles dealing with it. But when you watch it, then you realize that they had fake newscast from Atlanta saying they were in Kuwait and Israel with blue screens behind them and palm trees saying they were on the roof as chemical weapons Scud missiles were coming in. But back then, the public was so mindless and so trusting that they would even send this over an unscrambled satellite feed where people that had 10-foot type dishes and bigger could pick it up, and people recorded it as they would go, okay, get ready to act, all right, and they'd make dirty jokes and stuff and then put their helmets on and then you know, take takes. This wasn't live. They'd crack up laughing, and they'd go, do it again, do it again. Oh, we're here in uh, Tel Aviv, or we're here in Kuwait. In different days, same reporters, same set. And I remember watching that in 1990, 1991, fake newscast. Folks, if you think it's bad then, it's much worse now. And that's my point, is that we're not living in Kansas anymore. But what's happening is there's two different worlds happening. You've got old media that's, that's, that's real, like talk radio to some extent. You've got some print publications uh, that want readers, so sometimes they tell the truth, uh, like Rolling Stone. Uh, you've got new media all over the place, and, and together we're really bigger than the establishment dinosaur media. And so the globalists are operating in a vacuum. They're up there acting like everybody's buying another propaganda, acting like they still have all the viewers. All they have is the biggest sets that cost hundreds of millions of dollars a year to run. TV's very expensive. And they're, and they're losing money, all of them. Even News Corp that has more viewers and all the other cable news together has been losing money on record. It's news division because it's a propaganda division. General Electric and Microsoft that have been you know, connected to NBC and MSNBC for a long time, NBC for 50 years uh, to, to General Electric, they're going to make money off their weapons division where they've got you know, $5 million cruise missiles and million dollar cluster bombs and bunker busters that are being dropped on people. So what if their news division loses 50, $100 million a year, $200 million a year sometimes? It doesn't matter. That's the cost of brainwashing people. But you see, they don't even have the audience anymore. But all they've got is the illusion of the prestige of being on these stupid shows. And yes, if you're on one of these shows and then you do something interesting, then it will be put on all of the mainstream shows. And then you've got a big audience because then you're on Jay Leno. Uh, then you're on, uh, you know, the other shows that do have large audiences compared to news. And then it gets uh, a ton of attention. So I just want to continue to announce to everybody 
that the establishment is flailing around. And, and, and so they're trying a tyrannical takeover, but it's not in a vacuum. There's resistance to it. It's like they're coming in for a landing like there's no resistance and we're here waiting for them. Now, I'm going to go to your calls because I promised to do it. And then the big news on Infowars.com, hiding in plain view. Michael Hastings' wife has said, quote, she's going to take down whoever did this. And they basically, uh, her and her friends and his friends believe he was killed. The important thing about the Pro One filter today is that the material we use for removing fluoride and other heavy metals now will remove the latest form of fluoride called hydrofluorosilicic acid. There's no other fluoride reduction filter out there that will remove that type of fluoride. And it's extremely important because Today, we're hearing more and more cities are using that form of fluoride. We've been having medication forced on us through the water system for quite a while. Most people don't realize it. Most people don't realize the negative effects of fluoride. There's a wide range of health effects that are attributed to fluoride. Bottom line, why should somebody get this new Pro One Pro Pure filter? The reason to buy the Pro One, it's an all-in-one filter. It's convenient, easy to use. It doesn't require the add-on fluoride filter. And in addition, this filter removes the latest form of fluoride called hydrofluorosilicic acid. All right, we're back live, ladies and gentlemen, and we're gonna go right to your phone calls. And then after I've taken uh, 10 calls or so, I'm gonna get into Michael Hastings' wife vows to take down whoever did this. Uh, that's the quote from the Infowars.com uh, article by Paul Joseph Watson. Friend of journalist reveals colleagues were too scared to release panicked email. And then everybody's supposed to just line up and go along with this. I want to talk directly uh, to his friend, the sergeant that had the courage to go public, Sergeant Biggs, Joe Biggs. Uh, he said, everybody's scared, but I'm not scared. Uh, he said, uh, Hastings, he said, Mike would stand up for me if this happened. And uh, Fox News' Megyn Kelly made jokes about tinfoil hats. It's just despicable, ladies and gentlemen, that, that we've got a war on the press in this country. He says, oh, they're coming after me uh, in a tweet 15 hours before, sends an email out two hours before, his car blows up. And then we're immediately not supposed to ask if he was killed. Right there tells you what's going on. I'm going to be breaking that down and playing some clips of that and getting into some other world news, obviously. But right now, let's go to Will in Georgia. Will, you're on the air. Welcome. Thank you, Alex. Uh, thank God for you and for InfoWars. Uh, it's, it's a powerful ministry, and it's an opportunity to take our country back, to restore our creedal civil religion. Our ancestors received America in covenant from the creator of the universe and nobody in between. This is the promised land that Isaiah prophesied. And the forces that are marshaled against us are those that Thomas Jefferson, whose writings and life prove him to be a prophet of God, is Zion. We are the new Israel. Anybody can read Isaiah. It's quite clear. England's chief rabbi, Jonathan Sachs, agrees. All the signs of stipulations are met in America. And Michael Hastings, uh, uh, within five minutes passing the red light at uh, whatever that Everybody can go look it up, a red light, uh, camera, Hastings. They can see the, the picture that the paparazzi took uh, in about four minutes, I think in 34 seconds uh, from passing that light. Several blocks away, his car was blown up, and the fellow with the seat seats and the kippah on was out there with a, with a garden hose already sprung from his street. Imagine how long it would take. Uh, so it was some minutes before the car blew up after it went through the intersection. And by the time the light gets down there, by the time the camera gets down to the bombing, the gentleman with the seat seats and the, uh, the keep on already has the yard hose in front of his house, strung out, watering a car fire. He had a beard, white hair. We know how old he was. Everybody knows you don't put water on a car fire if you want to put it out. You do that in order to exacerbate it. And that's why the flames were going higher and higher as he put the water on it. Uh, so you just think of the timing under five minutes, he had already strung the water hose out from his house, had it turned, had gone back to the, uh, spigot, turned it on, was putting water on car fire. And, um, 
it was a bombing. We know it was Boston Brakes. Uh, we know he was going maybe 45 miles an hour through that intersection. Evidently, the people behind him running him on remote control didn't have the wherewithal or at that time in the morning didn't figure they needed to stop at the light, so they just ran the light. Uh, that completely an assassination, this crucifixion 2.0, the same people uh, hammered the impalement stakes into tens of thousands of Christs for twice denying Caesar was God Almighty. You can read Thomas Jefferson's letter to his nephew. No, I hear you. I hear you. Look, all I know is there should be an investigation of this, and you can't trust the police to do it. I mean, the coroner of Breitbart that did the, the autopsy died of poisoning. And they're like, oh, well, maybe that's normal. It's just amazing what's going on. I appreciate you calling in. I mean, they're killing a lot of people. Aaron Swartz, you name it, the list goes on and on. Pat Tillman, they got caught lying about that. They killed five people out of private Lynch's unit who went public saying it was all a PR stunt. They murdered them. They had assassins popping up, you know, shooting them in their backyard and stuff. It, it, it's just absolutely incredible. Let's go to TJ in Alabama. TJ, go ahead. Hey, Alex, how are you? Pretty good, sir. Hey, listen, uh, Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior, and we're all info warriors in this together. Alex, I'm uh, about a two-year listener now, and I uh, wanted to call in about the capabilities of that Mercedes car. I hear a lot of people calling, talking about, you know, uh, get Mercedes to step up and do this. Uh, I bet you haven't heard anything from them, have you? No, we haven't heard anything from Mercedes. Well, let, let me tell you, my mother was killed in a Mercedes-Benz SLK in 1999, SLK little two-seater. And so my family, and the uh, airbag did not come out properly. So my family, we sued uh, Mercedes-Benz for wrongful death. And let me tell you something, Alex, that in 1999, that car did not have OnStar in it, okay? It didn't have any type of a cellular phone hookup in that automobile. But when it, uh, when that airbag module engaged... Tell you what, I want to hear this when we come back. I'm, I want to hear the rest of your story. Stay with us. I had tried everything. I'd cut back the amount of food I was eating. I was lifting weights and jogging, but nothing was working. My body was literally starving for minerals and trace elements as well as key vitamins. And as soon as I had that, I immediately could eat half of what I was eating previously and be satisfied. Now, there are hundreds of great products at InfoWarsTeam.com, but I want to point out the three that have helped me lose 37 pounds in just two months. Products like Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Pollen Burst, and Rebound. When I started taking the Tangy Tangerine and other products every day, I lost more than 37 pounds in just two months. Now, that's results. I want to challenge my listeners to go to InfoWarsTeam.com and to order just three of their products, and you will see the changes in the way you look, feel, and in your appetite almost immediately. Start your journey to health and wellness today. InfoWarsTeam.com. We were just talking uh, to a uh, gentleman in Alabama about uh, what specifically happened to his mother and what happened when he was dealing with Mercedes in, this, I think he said 1999. He's saying there was an OnStar, wasn't supposedly a cell phone uh, that they use in these wireless navigation systems uh, that we know on record are being used to uh, track everything you do and now remote control the car. That's the DARPA project director on record and a car and driver uh, and the former national security advisor, uh, Richard Clark as well, just for people before Rachel Maddow comes out and says that I'm lying and saying that they can remote control cars. Uh, that's a fact, but she knows her audience is so stupid. She'll probably, I mean, I'm just giving her a good example of kind of how she likes to lie. Probably a good lie for her. Uh, she can say that I said, you know, giant wasp or underneath the Capitol building. I never said that, but she said, I said that. Uh, this is the type of deception they engage in. Uh, but specifically, sir, getting back to you, uh, go ahead and uh, tell us uh, specifically uh, what you were about to finish up with. Okay, Alex. Like I said, the uh, Mercedes-Benz was a brand new uh, SLK 1999 model. And my mother was killed in a head-on collision at a very, very low Delta V change in velocity. Uh, but the, the kicker here is that the airbag didn't deploy fully. It kind of clover leaf. So within 15 hours of that automobile accident, 
there were engineers from Stuttgart, Germany, on the ground, covertly, that got into where the car was being stored and downloaded from the car's computer every bit of data from that car. Now, that was in 1999. So somehow that car had a mechanism in it that communicated to Stuttgart, Germany, that the airbag module had fired. And so just think of uh, the progress that's been made since that time to now. Like I said, there was no OnStar. There was no visible way of communicating that, that, that we, the consumer, knew of that was in that vehicle. But there were engineers on the ground that bribed the, uh, the uh, storage place to get into and, and, and plugged up uh, you know, some type of a mechanism to the car to extract the data. That's how uh, defensive they, they are. And get this, in the, in the trial, it was a 14-day jury trial, uh, the, the father of the airbag flew in on a Gulfstream 5 from Germany. He invented the airbag, and guess who he was working for when he invented it? He was working for Mercedes-Benz. His name is Dr. Luigi Brambella, and he said he had never seen an airbag module do that in all of his uh, life and his work. He's a consultant now for them. But we also subpoenaed, there's a company, can I say the name of it, uh, Alex? Yeah, yeah, go ahead, sir. Uh, I believe it's Bosch. Uh, and they, this Bosch company has the algorithm for the ignition switch for the airbag, and they they were subpoenaed to give us that algorithm, and they, they denied it. They would not give the algorithm. So, you know, that's my point there as far as that goes out. Mercedes uh, had about 15 strings of lawyers and 25 paralegals, a whole building rented. Uh, you'll, you know, I keep hearing a lot of the audience say, well, let's, let Mercedes step up, let them step up. Uh, I don't believe you'll see them step up. They're part of the... Uh, military industrial complex sure well what um, you i appreciate your call sir and sorry about what happened to your mother uh look the larger issue here is we always lose the forest for the trees or the trees for the forest everything is having remote control kill switches put in it everything is having surveillance systems put in it and you pay for the extra cost of all the electronics goods due to this global standardization. And I don't care if you're in Germany or Australia or Russia or China or Canada or Mexico or Chile or Venezuela for that matter. Everything manufactured by these Fortune 100 companies is globally agreed upon, even outside of law, to have these tracker systems. Like those, those articles earlier this year about the communist Chinese can track and monitor and cut off electronics in the U.S. and including a lot of electronic chips and components in weapon systems. Well, of course, that's because all of this stuff has to have back doors. So the NSA, which isn't for the U.S. government, we pay for it, but it's run by foreign banks. Over 100 major companies, private contractors, are the ones that get the contracts to run all this and to do the analyst work and do the spying. Private corporations have come and lobbied to build a giant government and then have the keys given to them and then they're paid to rape us financially and intellectually and our privacy. And so they've so overshot us in the over-the-topness of the tyranny that I get up here... In, in, 15 years ago, seven years ago, a year ago, and say all the new video game consoles that are high end, all the new cars that are high end, all the new houses that are high end are total surveillance. I mean, I saw billion dollar contracts in, uh, for regions that we covered two years ago. No one else covered it but Infowars.com and, and Drudge picked it up. DrudgeReport.com. No one else covered it. The company's bragging they'd gotten contracts to put microphones and hidden cameras in streetlights and fake power transformers and other systems with shotgun mics to listen to everybody. And, and by the way, even before that came out, it was in the, the news in 1999 
in the Office of the American Statesman, and I have shots of it in the Statesman, saying, oh, we got a federal grant for gunshot detectors, uh, $800,000 a year over the next decade. Kay Bailey Hutchinson, the senator, bragged that she would got gunshot detectors for Austin. You notice you've never heard one person arrested from a gunshot detector. You notice you've never heard about it. They've been put in nationwide now. Austin was one of the pilot cities in the late uh, 90s. I looked at the company name and went and search engined it, and it was on their site where they were playing promo audio. They had promo audio bragging that they were really shotgun mics and said, here you hear people talking on the park bench from 200 yards away. And it's a real recording with birds tweeting and people talking. And of course, it was phrased like they were criminals, just like the new Homeland Security training videos. In all of them, the drones are watching gun owners shoot guns on their ranch or sell guns to each other and it's always white guys with John Deere hats. That's what this is for. It, it's always been, of course there's drones. Now the government admits it domestically. Of course there's Google blimps. I told you a decade ago Google was going to roll out with blimps, really NSA blimps, and, talk, and call it internet service when it's really surveillance platforms looking through your walls with ground penetrating radar, black and white images, that's 30 year old technology that was declassified. They've got wireless internet basically what it is, beams, where it's color folks. And by color, they can see every freckle on your body, every goose bump. It's, it's, it's better vision than human vision. And they just fly over your house, scanning everything you're doing. And it's all on record is the issue. Do you understand this? And you paid for it. They get rich. Google is the biggest corporation in the world. You can debate whether it's Google, Apple, or ExxonMobil. The point is they're the, the triumphant, the trifecta up there. And they all sit up there squatting on top of us. And it's all a giant joke to them. What the top Google guys, one's worth 20 billion, one's worth 40 billion, one's worth 30 billion, one's worth 10 billion, 8 billion. They're all just up there sucking your money, sucking everything, laughing at you. But it's okay because Vince Vaughn has a movie coming out where Google's really sweet and funny and nerdly and, you know, they're your future. <laughs> this is all the big sick joke for these people. I'm going to go back to your calls. First, I want to tell you the new magazine is in. It's the new July issue, and it's You Are the Target of Government Spying. Big, glossy, color magazine. 60 color, glossy pages. It's got a quarter of the month. The total influence, economic, political, even spiritual, is felt in every city, every state house, every office of the federal government. We must... Be alerted to the danger that the public policy could itself become the captive of a scientific technological elite. And then he goes into the military industrial complex. January 17th, 1961, three days before he stepped down as president to John F. Kennedy. <clears throat> That's the kind of stuff in this magazine, just totally and completely jam packed with key intel. Letters to the editor, uh, incredible art, NSA spying. Intimidation and censorship, what it's really all about. Uh, new polls show Americans oppose NSA spying. Just amazing graphics with a great job uh, the team does. It's got gardening tips, and then it's got 10 InfoWars free bumper stickers. 10. 10 in every magazine. Now, I couldn't afford to put these in the magazines we put on the streets in Austin and San Antonio. So the 10 bumper stickers, five little ones, no, one, two, three, four, five, six little ones. And then we've got um, over here when you get to it, uh, four big ones. America has been occupied by globalist forces, InfoWars.com. Listen to Alex Jones show at InfoWars.com. InfoWars.com, forbidden information. Listen to Alex Jones at InfoWars.com. We only had the money to put these in 50,000 of the 120,000 magazines we printed. So the 50,000 we have to sell and to send out to subscribers have about 
40 cents per magazine of added cost. That's more than it costs to print each magazine of these high quality, you know, the, the petroleum based uh, black and white bumper stickers that last for years. This is a weapon system. And you want to wake people up for all the subscribers, anybody that buys them in bulk in groups of 10 up to 100 at cost, or if you want to just buy, you know, a, a 10 pack. <clears throat> We're selling these at cost to get the word out. And it is just an excellent magazine. Great to wake up friends and family. Uh, it gets into what happened at Bilderberg. Uh, it gets into uh, you know, 2013, the year Bilderberg uh, collapsed. It is, it is all in there, and I'm really proud of the job the crew did. Attention, patriotic Americans and freedom lovers everywhere. We are putting these 10 bumper stickers, that's 500,000 total, in these 50,000 magazines so that you can post them in legal and lawful areas to get the word out. Uh, and, and this is having a big effect around the country. This is your mission should you choose to accept it. And also take photos of where you post them in legal and lawful areas in your own property and things like that. Uh, and then send them to us. Uh, and we have the email in there. Uh, so uh, uh, letters at Infowars.com so that you can see it uh, in the next issue of the magazine. We break down who's at Bilderberg, including Petraeus. Uh, and so much more. So there you go. That is a labor of love. InfoWars July issue, July 4th, launching a major info weapon uh, at the Globalist uh, to awaken humanity. Again, InfoWarsStore.com. You can get 10% off on promo code WATER on the ProPure stainless steel water filtration, the best systems out there. I did the research, went out and got them as a sponsor because they're the best. InfoWarsStore.com and all of your purchases uh, make th this news organization possible. I am dumping more than 100%. You heard me right. I'm spending backup money uh, more than 100% right now to try to totally t t awaken the sleeping giant that is humanity. So I want to commend all of you that are PrisonPlanet.tv members, everybody that gets the ProPure systems, everybody that uh, or, uh, pre orders the uh, film State of Mind at InfoWarsStore.com, and all of our MNFM affiliates for carrying the show. All the sponsors, with you, the listeners, and the good Lord above. Uh, let's go to Dan. Oh, no, no. Uh, it, that's right. I already talked to the Mercedes guy. Let's talk to Dan in Oregon. Uh, Dan, you're on the air. Thanks for holding. Hey, how you doing? God bless you and all you do. A lot of fans out here in Oregon of yours. Thank you, sir. Hey, uh, yeah, when you said there's a lot of resistance, of course. We're not all going to lay down and run under our bed and let these people stomp us and take our properties and destroy things. You know, who knows what's going to happen if the banks ever collapse everything. I don't know how much control we'd have over that. Well, they're incrementally collapsing things, and they're putting in soft martial law to prepare us. That's what all of this is about. They put chemical weapons in the water on record. We are under a foreign banking attack. It controls the bureaucracy and the health departments. The health departments are really the military arm to carry out the CPS grabbing, the forced drugging, the poisoning of the water. They, are, they were set up by the eugenicist in 1910 in New York. Wow. Yeah, you know what? And even in Oregon, like you say with the health, people are having so many breathing problems here because they're really spraying heavy in the skies anymore. Of course they are. It's just, and I can't believe that people don't look up and notice what's wrong with the sky. You know, they don't notice things, but it's like, it's everything going on. People are more worried about things. I, I don't even see how people can watch MSNBC and think they're getting news. I watched it yesterday to see what they were going to talk about with what the Supreme court did with the voter ID thing. You're saying, of course it's all racist. You know, everything's racist anymore. It's so disgusting. It's not 1850 and they treat it like, oh, you slaves. That's all in the past. Well, what's happening you know? is they've already got electronic voting fraud in, in most areas. So uh, the real issue here is, is that there is gerrymandering by whoever's already in power going on. And the Democrats and Republicans told the Supreme Court to do this because they want to be able to keep their little mafia fiefdoms. Uh, set up. So that's what this is really all about because the only thing that can get around the electronic voting fraud is the gerrymandering. So you you may own the fraud company uh, that's controlling how people vote, but it doesn't matter. The Democrats or Republicans, uh, whoever's in power, they'll control the gerrymandering uh, where, where, again, they can't have election fraud if it's too obvious that you're a Democratic district or a Republican district, but it's going to the other group. 
Uh, so it's all just a bunch of mafias. The only thing holding them back is the separation of powers. That's why the globalists want a centralization and always demonize gridlock. Because if they ever get a total centralization, then there won't be all the infighting by the criminal groups that actually holds them back. The only thing, the reason the Nazis were so bad is that they got a bureaucracy together that was in total control. And it, it took the Soviets really 20 years to really get fully taken over before they could really start killing everybody in mass. Uh, uh, the, uh, that's why David Rockefeller really worshipped Mao, because he immediately was able to kill tens of millions. And they like that. They like to go directly to mass murder, but they have to get you ready for that first. We'll be right back. Now you can watch the InfoWars nightly news streaming live as it happens for free. Check it out at InfoWars.com forward slash show. When we kick off the next hour, I'm going to get into the bombshell news and these audio clips and video clips of Michael Hastings, one of his best friends, this Sergeant Joe Biggs, one of the people he blind copied the email uh, that was panicked. And the fact that the family basically says they think he was killed and the wife has said, quote, by the way, this is not getting media attention. This is hiding in plain view. This has been out since yesterday that she said, uh, quote, she's going to take down whoever did this. Well, you better come out and say you think it was foul play clearly or you might fall down and hit your head. Or your car will blow up and they say it hit a tree. Uh, and again, this is how the law of the jungle works once you're in a tyranny. People just start rolling over in fear. And once that happens, the tyrants win. And then the worst of the worst becomes the norm. This is how freedom dies, folks. Uh, is when everybody just gets scared, everybody complies, everybody just says, oh, no, you know, Aaron Swartz must have hung himself. Even though he said he was going to fight the feds and even though he was worth, you know, tens of millions of dollars and just gotten engaged and said he was going to fight the fake federal charges. I mean, now the FBI just comes to your house, shoots you in the top of the head, and then they go, oh, we shot him in the head. He didn't have any weapons, didn't attack us. He's dead. They're like, oh, it's no big deal. Cops all the time, you see it in the news, you know. Guy gets out of his car, they tell him get out of his car, guy gets out, nothing in his hand, shoot him dead. They go, well, we felt threatened. Maybe they can just put us in sand pits and shoot us like the Nazis and say, I feel threatened, boom, boom, boom. I mean, it, we're about one step away from that. Speaking of tyranny, look at this article up on Infowars.com of the Daily Caller. Gag order sought for eight Eighth grader arrested for NRA shirt that simply said protect your rights and had the NRA symbol uh, on it. And it goes on to say that CBS affiliate WOWKTV is in court seeking a gag order to keep him from talking about the case. And to keep his father from speaking out and saying he's been having his first amendment persecuted. Yeah, oh hey, they're pointing out that we're a bunch of tyrants, that we told him to take a shirt off, and he said it doesn't violate school policy, we're allowed to wear shirts. Just says protect your rights, so they arrested him. I've got an article where a gentleman is facing 13 years in prison in LA for drawing with water soluble chalk, children's chalk, about people's rights on the street. Oh yeah, they arrest people in Austin for that now. They will throw the book at you where I live. Because again, the same thing's happening out in LA. We're going into a big fat tyranny, folks. You understand that? California man faces 13 years in jail for scribbling anti-bank messages in chalk. You criticize, you criticize the New World Order, we're going to arrest you. And look, right there in the article out of RT, it says, a judge has barred his attorney from mentioning freedom of speech during trial. Oh, yeah, all over the country, state and federal courts, they say, you don't bring, I've read the transcripts, it's in the news all the time, there it is. You don't bring up the Constitution here. But the judge has sworn an oath to. These people are flaming tyrants. Flaming. And they are scared of your First Amendment. Because they know they've done wrong, folks. That's why they're persecuting the press. It's why they're telling pro-life groups, you can't be pro-life anymore. We're going to arrest you. Your speech isn't allowed. I mean, that's in the news. 
And the press won't even stand up for Hastings because they're not a press. They're a globalist regurgitation machine. The New World Order vomits lies. They gobble it up and vomit it back on us. Well, you know what? You can keep your stinking vomit, New World Order. As for me and my family, we choose justice, we choose honor, we choose courage, and we are full steam ahead, in, through, and beyond. Folks, history's happening right now. And, you know, oh, you're going to speak out to the press about you, you, your Second Amendment? We don't want that family talking to the press. Gag them! Johnny Appleseed was born during the Revolutionary War. He's not just a legend. And in more than five states, he introduced apples that had not even been grown in the colonies. Later, the seeds from plants he planted and cultivated and some of the varieties he developed spread across the United States. And it was Johnny Appleseed teaching the colonists and then the new Americans after we won independence the love of planting fruit trees that introduced that idea to North America. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a revolutionary act to unplug from the television, to unplug from the computer and all the globalist propaganda and to go out in your backyard or your front yard or planters at your apartment or on the roof of the building where you live and to plant a garden. Become the Johnny Appleseed of your community with seeds from the InfoWars Seed Center at InfoWarsStore.com. The simple act of planting fruits and vegetables and then tending them and taking care of them and then sharing them with friends and family is a revolutionary act against tyranny. The globalists, first and foremost, do not want us to be self-sufficient. The crony anti-free market capitalist, the fascist, are using socialism and collectivism to shut down societies. Stalin in Poland and in Ukraine and other areas starved on record more than 10 million people over five years by not letting them grow their own crops and collectivizing them. Mao killed between 65 million and 80 plus million people doing this same thing. The UN says they will use food as a weapon. They use genetic evil to attack the earth and major GMO companies have been caught going into growth belts around the world, even where GMO is illegal, and planting seeds everywhere to infect the genetics of the original crops. Almost all of the thousands of varieties of Mexican corn has been infected. They are in a genetic war against everyone. That's why we have to get these seeds and not just plant them on our own gardens and not just give them as gifts to friends and family to plant spring and summer and fall gardens. I'm calling on you to go out into the green belts, to go out into the areas and plant secret gardens. No, not of marijuana, but of the hundreds and hundreds of incredible high quality uh, vegetables and herbs and fruit plants that are here. Lemons and oranges, the list goes on and on. They will grow uh, plum trees, grape trees. They will grow almost everywhere in the U.S. We can literally, not just buying these products from InfoWarsStore.com, but from wherever you get them. This aggressive program literally just came to me one morning when I woke up about 4 a.m. realizing that we've got to counter their genetic war against us with original real crops developed over eons on this planet. We have the lowest prices we bought it in the biggest bulk that some of these companies have ever seen to ship this directly to you from the InfoWars Command Center. We stand for life. We stand for liberty. We stand for self-sufficiency. Go to InfoWarsStore.com, click on the Seed Center, and as of taping this, we have the seven top respected brands. We intend to continue to do research and find other companies, other specialties, other varieties to really take action. The InfoWars Store Seed Center has the largest online selection of heirloom, non-GMO seeds. Check out these products from our newest supplier, Heirloom Organics. The Medicine Garden, for a natural remedy. The Tea Garden, that contains every important tea herb you can grow. Fruit Lovers, with 12 varieties. And the Tobacco Pack, additive and pesticide free. Join the gardening revolution today at InfoWarsStore.com. This is a revolutionary action we're asking you to take. Plant seeds everywhere today. Nurture them, bring them to fruit, and pass on the knowledge to others. Become human again. Discover your roots in the soil. And remember, the revolution against tyranny is growing.
All right, I'm going to get into Hastings' wife saying, quote, she vows to take down whoever did this. You know, his car blew up. We're going to be getting to that in the next segment. Then we've got a special guest joining us on the technocratic takeover, a top professor. But right now, let's go back to your calls. William in Utah. William, wow, what's on your mind today? Hey, Alex. Um, well, I know a lot of people are scared, especially with this uh, Michael Hastings thing coming out. Uh, it's pretty apparent. Everyone knows that it's that it's real. You know, people are scared that uh, they're killing they're a lot of reporters. They're killing a lot of soldiers. They're killing a lot. They're killing good guys all over the place. Yeah, they're going to keep doing right. it. And uh, anyway, there's two things that I found in my personal life that's brought me peace and um, you know helped me get through with these times. Um, the first thing is. You know, daily prayer, uh, talking with our, our Father in Heaven, the Father of our spirits. And the second thing is daily scripture study. I use my iPad every morning to um, read the King James Bible, and I also read the uh, Book of Mormon. I don't know if you've ever, have you ever read the, the Book of Mormon? No, I haven't. The most powerful chapters are the last four chapters. Uh, so it's Moroni chapter 7 through through 10. I recommend if you, re if you don't read anything else, read those last four chapters. And, you know, if we do the, these two basic things, God will lead us to what we need to do to fight against tyranny and, and support freedom. Very interesting. Uh, what's your take on courts telling Second Amendment advocates that they can't have their free speech? Gag order sought for eighth grader arrested over NRA and a man facing 13 years in jail in L.A. for water soluble chalk with anti-New World Order messages on the sidewalk, the judge says do not bring up free speech as a defense so, so that it can't be mentioned so that so the government loses the appeal. This is judges consciously involved in trying to defraud justice. Yeah, I think it's ridiculous. I, I myself, am, I'm an artist, and, um, you know, we all deserve the freedom of, of speech and expression. And Yeah, well, and, I've meant yeah, to do this for a while. I'm going out in Austin with chalk today, and I'm going to write all over everything. I mean, give me a break. It's totally First Amendment. It washes off the next rain. Uh, and I think everybody everywhere. In fact, we should have on July 4th, in between hot dogs and fireworks, I'm, I think everybody should go out with chalk under the First Amendment. No, you may be arrested in this tyrant of a country and, and write anti-New World Order pro-liberty messages. Uh, you may be founding father quotes on the sidewalk. But see, if it's little kids out there drawing flowers and out there drawing little houses, they don't arrest them. They don't want you having your speech. They want you to pay your money to them and take some vaccines and roll over and die. And you know what? I tell them they go right to Hades. Oh, thank you, William. Charles in Georgia, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hello, sir. It's a, it's a pleasure to be with you. And uh, I've been a listener for about four years now. I'm well awake. And uh, I want to address this issue uh, about the federal court makes gay marriage legal. I don't know whether or not you saw that. Um, it, 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 it came in today. Uh, where well, you got all kind of new, just type in uh, federal court makes gay marriage legal, and you'll see a, a ton of articles where it's on different news networks where they've made gay marriage legal and everything. And I just want to say that, that the, the stuff you preach definitely uh, coincides with what the Bible prophecy says. And uh, yeah, for that, it's just amazing to know that there's people out there like yourself and other people that you interview and everything uh, that are getting the truth out amongst people because even though we live in a society where people easily get offended by other people telling the truth on them, and the Bible says the truth hurts, and you're going to have people that are going to get offended, uh, they're going to get upset about it, but the, it has to be preached. I mean, Jesus said in the Bible that, uh, you know, if, they hate, if they'll persecute me, then they'll persecute those that follow me and those that follow my teachings and everything. As I haven't gotten to the big ruling, uh, you can see DrudgeReport.com has the big rainbow flag up there and all the latest on it. We've got some articles on Infowars.com. But again, on the surface, it sounds like civil rights. That's how it's sold. But in the reality, it's about teaching five-year-olds about sex. It's about the government taking over from parents. It's about anti-family stuff. They do not like marriage. They do not like the family. That's the government. Now you can watch The Alex Jones Show live as it happens at Infowars.com slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. More than 60 movies and documentaries all in one place at Infowars.com slash show.